it's Matt coming at you with another Planet Coaster Park Spotlight. Thank you for joining me, welcome to the video, and welcome to Simple Park, created by YanBK1608. Now this is the second park that I've spotlighted by Yan, the first of which was Park Ciel Bleu, which we spotlighted last year, a sensational French-styled park. Absolutely loved it, and this is the follow-on park from that. Now today's park is a PlayStation 5 park but built within the PS4 limits and the description reads Welcome to Simple Park, a family park built from the old town of Outer Wilds, Utah at the foot of the Rocky Mountains. Outer Wilds was a mining town until the late 1800s and despite still being lived in by the descendants of the miners and other town folk, in 2021 the mayor asked for the services of the Yanko company to turn the town into a family theme park. With a population being less than 100 people, they have all since then been sent to a nearby city. Now two years after the transformation began, Simple Park is finally opening and you're invited. Come experience the comfort of a classic western park with your family and ride some engaging attractions set in the historical infrastructures of Outer Wilds. Take care, dream big, Jan. Oh my days, I am so eager to now get into this park. So before we hop in, make sure to leave a like, leave subscribe if you are new, leave a comment down below, all the good stuff, all the usual, and if you would like to have your park spotlighted, then the Iron Gamers Discord link will be up in that top corner right now. But enough messing about, let's get straight into this park. I am so excited. So here we are at the park entrance. Oh, I'm buzzing to get into this park. I've been so excited to see this park. Yan BK has been doing a Let's Play series on this park, but I haven't been watching it. Not because I'm a bitter, resentful person who is green with jealousy and doesn't want to watch and support Yan's channel, but if I know that I'm going to be spotlighting a park, I'd like to come in unprepared and be surprised. So, m and Games, Michael when he does his parks, Corvus, Yan BK, I don't watch their Let's Play series because... I want to come into the park surprised. I want to experience it for the first time. Like you guys. When you download the park, I want to be able to experience it for the first time from a guest's point of view. But I love all this. Just the foliage work and the dandelions and the butterflies. I can hear birds tweeting around. All around me. So pay for your parking tickets just there. You've got your ticket booths. All tickets and the season pass. And then purchase your park tickets just here nice buildings just on either side and then simple park love that font and the font is by guitar freak who is doing a recreation of a little rock ridge at the moment which is incredible well i love how you've got the simple park just elevated using the wooden planks just there but right let's come through the park shall we Come through the turnstiles. And instantly we are greeted by this Vekoma family coaster, a Wendigo. Right in front of us. Excuse me. I'm, I'm ex trying to record a spotlight and you walked right in front of me. Sir, that was rude. Anyway. Yeah, that is... I mean, that's incredible. What a sightline to walk into the park. Do you know what? I'm going to move the camera up. You're all being extremely rude and walking right in front of me when I'm trying to look at things. That may be the smallest, most compact coaster I've seen done on console. That is insane. It looks amazing. I cannot wait to go on that. Is it custom supported? I can't tell if it's custom supported or not. No, it isn't custom supported. Right, anyway, we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that shortly. So, let's come over here. I like what you've done with the tree here, just with all the flowers and the daffodils all around it, and then just a little tiny fence and the brickwork just going around it. Just one way to break up the path. And we have Miner, Matty's Tank Engine, Mine Blasters, Caterpillar, Michael's Mustang, Carpenter Craig Log Flume, and the Outer Wild Ventures. And get your park maps just there. So much detail on all of these buildings. We have the post office right in front of us. Got to imagine that was one of the old buildings from the Outer Wilds that was there. And they just left that there. Is there anything inside? You know I'm going to have to check inside all the buildings, don't you? 
No, no, there's nothing here. Okay. And we're back in the toilets, and then we've got a staff only section just here with the bin lobbies. Shop access just there. And then that goes into the cave system just over there. I'm not going to go inside there because I believe that is the dark ride. And I don't want to go ruining that for ourselves just yet. Thank you very much. Let's come back up this way. Let's jump the fence. And let's stay a little bit elevated because all these guests are determined to ruin my spotlight. Now what have we got here? Moomin's Milk. <laughs> oh, I love the name. Uh, Dan's Donuts. So that would be Dan's Theme Park. Another YouTuber. You'll find links for all of these people down below. Love the detailing around here. Just with all the music and then all the sound effects. It's just so, so immersive. And then if we have a look at this coaster just from this side. I mean, that's incredible. All the rock work and the foliage. I can see a little tiny bit of a water feature just over there. Oh, wow. Alright, let's carry on around. Got the electric cables going over the top of us. Just thinking of that realism. We have Matty's Mining Company. Oh, that's my train. I've got a ride named after me. Love it. Miner Matty's Tank Engine. Oh, I love it. I want to see the train go past. Come on, train. I want to watch you go past. Yes, I know we already watched you go past in the cinematic shots at the beginning. But I don't care. I want to see it again. Choo-choo. Oh, that is so cool. Now, we're going to ride that last. We're going to come back to that at the very end. Because I've got a feeling that is the main attraction of the park. So, we're going to treat it as such and come back at the very end. So, what have we got here? Mining equipment, hats, wheels, Richard's Pride. I'm not sure who Richard is. It's not a name I'm familiar with. Maybe somebody who's following Jan on his channel. Well, let's have a look inside, shall we? So, come to a theme park, purchase your hammers, shovels and pickaxes. Because, as you do, when you come to a theme park, that's the first thing you want to buy. Come home from a theme park, you don't bring a teddy, you bring a pickaxe. We have Sheriff Shane. So that would be Shane Turner. A very prominent figure within the Planco community on, among the discords. Amazing guy. Lovely little shout out there to him. We have the Baguette Burgers. So of course, Jan being the favourite friendly Frenchman and his Discord server, the Baguettes. And we have the pumping station over here. You know I'm going to have to have a look inside, don't you? Oh, hang on. Matty, is that you? If you haven't, you should visit Sheriff Shane. <laughs> Jan, it's almost like you know me or something. <laughs> And then we've got the free refill drinks just over here. So these are what appeared in Park CL Blur. And you've just carried them over. Still blown away by the creativity of them. So a bending machine just inside that. That is so clever. But we come down to our first ride. Now I think this is the dark ride. I think. Look at the minecart on top. In all this terraforming and paint tool used around there. You got foliage going all the way up the top. Wow. Oh, hidden crow! I found a hidden crow. You didn't say anything about hidden crows in the description, so I don't know how many hidden crows are in this park, but there's one. I found one. Right, so we have lights in the way. Mind blasters. So, night please. So, let's just very quickly swap that to night, shall we? And there we go. Let's have a look down this cue path, shall we? What is this that you've done down the sides? Oh, it's ladders. So, two ladders put on the side. Wow. 
And you put them all the way down the queue path. Oh, that must have taken ages. Rather you than me. Oh, I love this. Just with the music and the lighting. This is fantastic. R&D. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Even all the roof is decorated. Look at all the detail. So we have copper, valued at $10. Silver at $25. We have Professor Warren. So Aldous and Warren G. So anything on that side? No, that's just my shout out. Right, okay. Pick gun. No pickaxe? Mine with a gun. I mean, it works. And the ammo box there. Oh, that's incredible. Oh, what a cue path. We have Gunsmith Albrus. Oh, this is sensational. Gold at $50. And Rainbow Eye at $100. Wow, Rainbow Eye is expensive. And you've actually... Oh, look at the changing colours. Oh, wow. In fact, above all of these... Right, so you've got copper. Like the copper colour. Silver, obviously silver. Gold and then the rainbow light is actually changing colours. That's so clever. Right. Let's come up here. Watch your head. Low ceiling. And who've we got here? Overseer Richard. I'm, hang on, I'm just gonna knock. Hello, Richard, are you there? No. Nobody's home. Alright. Oh, this is so good. I, mean, I, I can't believe the amount of detail. The gold room? No, nothing in there. Stop breaking the immersion, mate. Stop it. Stop it. Alright. Let's carry on down the queue line. So detailed. Now, I'm not sure what type of dark ride this is. We will find out momentarily. Oh, it's a shooting ride. Ah, oh, oh dear. Matty doesn't do well with shooting rides. Do you know what? Let's give it a try, shall we? Let's try and have a go on a shooting ride.
Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, my score is terrible. Yang got 80,000, I'm only on 22,000. I am terrible! What a ride. That was incredible. I feel like we need to go around and have a look inside because I was that busy shooting. I wasn't really looking what was going on, if I'm being honest. Oh my days. We have a maintenance just down there. And then the back cabin. I'm bad, man. Oh, this is incredible. I love how it splits off into multiple different ways. Really does feel like you're coming through the mines. I mean, look at this room. And it actually crosses over itself. Wow. I love this room here. There was a trigger effect that happened over here, but I was that busy shooting that I missed it. I only kind of like seem to glimpse the end of it, so I'd like to see that trigger. Oh, that is cool. Right, let's follow it around into the rainbow cabin. This room's beautiful. And then we cross back over the track. Round to the top scores, which mine was terrible, I am ashamed. 80,490, and there's me on 20,000. That is shocking. But yeah, absolutely incredible. I love that. Absolutely love it. Oh, I'm only a rookie. Oh, dear. Jan was an overseer. And then this will bring us back to the same shop that we were looking at earlier on, I believe. It does indeed. So let's just come here and let's just swap that back today again. And let's carry on with this tour. So we'll come back to Miner Matty's tank engine at the end of the spotlight and go for a ride then. We'll head towards the Wendigo. Love that station build. What does that say? Miners needed hiring now. Matty's Mining Company. As we come round here, we have the Caterpillar. So we've got another ride height sign. Oh, you've done the same with the ladders around here. So I wonder if you've done that for every ride in the park. I must have taken half the time building this park, just doing that alone. Love their station build. This is not a simple park in any way. I think it should be called Complex Park. Let's come through onto the station. A little bit more detailing just around here. Look at the sight line from the station. You can just see over to the park entrance. You can see the ride going around. Alright, let's have a look at the stats. Not that they're going to matter at all. Not green across the board. You wouldn't expect that. The G-Force is also quite low. Again, as you would expect. So let's go for a ride. Enjoy, everybody.
I loved that so much. That's one of the best kiddie coasters I've been on. It was just perfect. The way that you built that into the terrain and then all the rocks and the foliage around it, the water effects, everything about it was just incredible. Fantastic, nothing else to say. Yeah, incredible. Right, let's hop out the exit. Which is just over here, I believe. There we go. So, just letting you know that all the rides are open. We have a tribute to Cakeist. Really nice to see. I'm really liking seeing all these tributes to Cakeist from the people who knew him and friends. Very nice of you, Jan. We've got a block of toilets. That's a fancy toilet block. And then just as we turn right. Oh my god, look at that shot. Just with the log flume coming down. You can see another post office over there. This is amazing. Absolutely amazing. I love this park so much. What have we got here? So Harry's Hot Dogs. So that would be Tall Guy Gaming. A nice shout out to him. Another YouTuber. Again, you'll find his link down below also. We've got a rope bench. I've never seen that done before. What are the edges? Oh, of course. Right, I've got you. Right, I couldn't work out what the edges were. But then you've just put eight of them across and then just copied it down. Very clever. Very nice little bench technique there. Let's hide that hood. Got a staff area just back here. I am staff, of course. I can have a look. Let's come back around. For such a small park... It's so detailed. We have Becky's Bloons. So Becky Victor. Another nice shout out. And you've even got some balloons just tied up there. With another water refill. And what we'll do is we'll go this way. I think we'll skip M&J's Ranch and we'll come back to that. So we have... What well, looks like a Gertschlauer. But we'll come back to that in a moment. Oh, the entrance is there anyway. But we'll go, go on that when we come back down. And we'll save the two big coasters till the end. So, Carpenter Creek. What's this? So, Sweet Sandicoot. <laughs> So that is Hash Sandicoot. Nice little shout out to him. Just, oh, look at that. What a shot. I'm running out of positive things to say. Got a backstage area just there. And as we come round, so I believe we've got the log flume entrance on this side. And we also have a car ride just to our right. Already, we haven't even got onto that car ride. And that looks like it may be one of the most beautiful car rides I've ever seen. So, Carpenter Craig log flume. Let's go on this, shall we? So, again, keeping the ladders for the queue paths. Let's walk down here. Everywhere you look in this park, whichever direction you're facing at any point, there is something to look at. Every single angle in this park could be a thumbnail for the video. So beautiful. Let's come down here, underneath the covering. 
Carpenter Craig. We've got some wooden logs just at the side. Nice decoration. Nice building. I like what you've done with the glass here. So is that the prison bars and then glass put in as well? So. Yeah, so you put a piece of glass in just there and then the prison bars are over the top. That gives a great effect. Let's carry on up and over. Oh, you can watch the log flume come past at the same time as you stood there. Oh, we just missed it. Hang on, come on, hurry up. There we go. Wait there. Wait. Let me get in the spot. There you go. Now you can carry on. Look at that. That wasn't manipulated at all. Oh, this bridge is so good. You can watch the ride just go underneath. Watch it drop down. And then come up underneath you. I like the shape of this bridge. You didn't just go for conventional, just straight up. It's actually kind of like ju uh, jutting up at the edges, like diagonally going up. water feature just down here and we have Steve's waterworks I hope Steve's waterworks are okay if not I recommend going to the doctor All right, boarding here fantastic station anything in there no that's not stop breaking the immersion mate stop it right so let's go for a ride on this log flume shall we enjoy What a highly detailed log flume. It wasn't a long ride, but it was super detailed all the way around. So much to see and do. The way that it interacts with the mine train going underneath it and over it. Just beautiful. Absolutely sensational. You can see this building just to the right, just as you leave the station. I don't want to look in too much detail at that because we're going to go and explore that in a moment. We've got this little hut just up here that I've got to have a look at. You know I have. Ah, that's ah, that's where you're keeping all your triggers. Found them. And then it looks like the train can just come off the track and go over the top of you. As you come up here underneath the mine train. And then this cave was fantastic. Just how it was like all the triggered lights and going with the rainbow colours. Looks like the rainbow light that they were mining for. And then just here you go over the top of the mine train. As we 
carry on over the top. We've got this beautiful shot of the park just up here. Wow. Yeah, incredible ride. Absolutely incredible. All this foliage work around here. It's enough to make a grown man cry. But not this man. Get back in there, Tia. Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. Honestly, one of my favourite kids' films. It's so funny. Makes me laugh every time. I use that gif way too often. I get back in, man, Tia. Anyway, let's hop out the exit, getting completely sidetracked. We've just got some seating just here. We have the friendly French fries. <laughs> And Jones's WC, so that must be Dr. Jones. Or XX Dr. Jones XX. And you come through to this viewpoint here. Oh my days, look at that. Oh my god. So picturesque. You know, I cannot wait to go on that mine train. I'm so excited to go on it. Right. Hang on. Hang on. I've got to have a look down. Toilet block. Toilet block. Alright. Just making sure again. And then as we come round to the last little bit of the area before we start going back on ourselves, we have the post office here, which again, I've got to check. I, I literally cannot help myself. I cannot help myself. Right, so we have the Outer Wilds Ventures. So this is the car ride. Just as the train goes over the top of us. I love what you've done with the rocks in these cave systems. Creating these cue paths. Really utilising the terrain and making it feel like they cut corners when they were doing this park. Let's watch the car go past us. Do you know what? We're actually going to go for a ride on this car ride as well. I don't normally in spotlights, but I'm making an exception for this one. We've got the shutters here that would pull down at night. And then just on the other side... So they bring the cars in here at night and shut them in. But, right, let's go for a ride on this car ride, shall we? From this, I mean, beautiful station. Love this little station. It looks like a little gas station look. Is that a... Hang on. You've actually made that. I was going to say, is that an in-game piece? Look at that. How cool is that? Anyway, right, yes, we are going for a ride, so enjoy everybody.
I wasn't joking about that being one of the best car rides, was I? That was so good. It was beautiful. From start to finish. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Yeah. Just the way that it goes around this water feature and then over the bridge. Even the detailing on the bridge was fantastic. You've detailed all down here in the water. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. So immersive. Great use of foliage all the way around and rock work. And I like the music choice. I think this American Planco music may be some of my favourite music in the game. There's just something about it I find really catchy. Because Poops It Out used it for his log flume. And I loved it. But right, so we have two rides left to go on. So if we hop out the exit, which is just here, and then we will backtrack on ourselves. So we have Sam's Hat Shack, which I'd missed before. Welcome to the Outer Wilds. Ah, see, right, we missed this because when we came up, the exit of the log flume was there. So we hadn't seen these little bits, had we? So fill up your water there. And that was the entrance to the log flume. So we'll come back down here to Michael's Mustangs, which is a Gertzlauer Infinity, Infinity Coaster. We've looked at all of this. love your use of terrain and rock and foliage just with the butterflies everywhere and the sound effects are so good m and j ranch love how you can just watch the coaster going around you oh, hang on so we have dragon lady Mustang and Elsa. So Mustang is out because that's because it's Michael's Mustang. So that must be what we're going for a ride on today. Your queue lines for every single ride have been exceptional. Lily and Henry. You could, you could, honestly, you could spend hours really hope Michael and Jasmine don't have crows in their house. There you go, second crow. I wonder how many crows are in this park. I've now found two. Oh, there goes the coaster whizzing past us again. I <laughs> just hear the horses. Watch your head. <laughs> Lovely station build. Just feels like a stables. Pop your bags over there. Now let's have a look at the stats. Not that it's going to make any difference whatsoever. So we have a Typhoon Infinite. So yeah, a Gertschlau Infinity Coaster. With only two trains on it, which is unusual. But it's green across the board. Really nice G-forces. So let's go for a ride. Enjoy everyone. That was so much fun. What a fun and engaging ride that was. 
the way that it tells the story just going up into the hills and the mountains and then it comes back into the field and goes over all the jumps just brilliant really well themed i thought that was fantastic i like the way that you've changed the colors of the ride to yellow and orange orange brown i say orange i'm pretty sure others will say brown what color do you see orange or brown but yeah, amazing ride. I absolutely love that. Great job. So, we have one last ride left to go on, which is Matty's Mine Train. I'm excited to get on this. So, let's hop out the exit. And let's come down here, shall we? This has been a lot longer spotlight than I anticipated, especially for the size of the park. I knew it was only a small park, so I was fully expecting this spotlight to be around the half an hour mark. And I think we must be approaching around the 50 minute mark already. Which is insane. But right, here we go. We have Matty's Mining Company. I am proper excited to go on this ride. Unfortunately, this ride does crash. Now, I don't mean it crashes as in it falls off the track and kills the guests. I mean, it crashes the game, unfortunately. So you do have to do a little bit of homework, which is what I've done off camera. You have to just delete a couple of the other rides around the park. And apparently it should now work fine. So I'm hoping so. But this crashing problem is becoming more common. More and more common. It's so annoying. Frontier, patch the game, please. Please, please, please. Right. Clocking in and clocking off. Coming in for work. And then we've got loads of shout outs down here. So we have Nick, Linda, Roger, Antonio. Oh, Antonio and Roger again. They get two shout outs. Anthony, Mike, Darren, Presley. Oh, I love this. Oh, everyone gets two shout outs. Okay. A really engaging bridge again. You don't do things by half. This is not a simple park. You lied. There's nothing simple about it. Overly complex park. Welcome miners, boarding now. Let's have a look in the staff room. Oh, hello. So she's got a cup of coffee there. She's got a Costa. The spotlight is not sponsored by Costa, by the way. If they want to, I wouldn't argue. Costa, if you're watching, sponsor me, please. But anyway, right. Let's have a look at the stats for this mine train. Not that it makes any difference whatsoever. It's not going across the board. It's got really nice G-forces. Nobody cares. We just want to go for a ride. So let's do it. Final ride of the park. Enjoy, everybody.
thank you so much, Jan, for naming a ride after me. I am flattered and humbled. That's two spotlights this week where I've had a ride named after me. And Guys, I can't thank you enough. It really does mean the world to me. And what a ride to be named after. That was incredible. We saved the best ride of the park till the very end. It was fantastic. Super smooth. Loads going on. Lots to see and do. I just absolutely loved it. From start to finish. And I've loved this entire park. I can't believe how long it's taken to spotlight for such a small park. If we come just up here a second. And just have an elevated shot of the park. That is it. It is not a big park. And look how long it's taken us to spotlight that. I just want to go over some of the things in the park from this shot. I mean, look at the Wendigo ride. Look how small that is. It's itty bitty. Right, so what we need to do before we close out the spotlight is just have a look at this park at night. So let's come back over here. And let's just swap that to that quickly and give out some closing thoughts for the park. As little surprise to nobody, the lighting is sensational. You could view this park a day or night and it's equally as impressive. Let's just get down on ground level a second because I really want to look at that Wendigo at night. So let's come back through the main entrance once again. Oh my days. Wow. It's so beautiful. Let's just have a quick walk around the park at night as I attempt to give some closing thoughts on the park. I think it was incredible. I absolutely loved this park. And I think you can see your evolution as a creator, even from Park Seattle Blur, which was such a good park. I would put this one a long way above that park. I think you've really evolved and grown in confidence as a creator. I think you've tried different things in this one and maybe tried to step away from your comfort zone. You've really tried to use more items yourself because I know that Park Seattle Blur, you took a lot of the in-game items and maybe modified them. Whereas this one, you've tried to do a lot more yourself. And I think that shows the terraforming is on a whole new level the sounds of the park were fantastic yeah just an incredible park Jan. incredible park thoroughly enjoyed this park and it's been well worth the wait and it just makes me excited to see where you go next as a successor to park ciel blur you've really raised the bar for yourself and i'm just so excited to see what your third park is going to offer but there we go guys there is simple park by yan bk 1608 or 1608 or 1608 however you want to say it leave me alone but hopefully you've all enjoyed this park make sure to leave a comment down below as it does really help me out every single like every single comment just allows youtube to pick it up and throw it to that algorithm and just helps me to grow more so it is really appreciated but thank you ever so much for watching i'll be back in a couple of days for another planet coaster spotlight take care stay safe look after yourselves and i will see you all in a couple of days no bloops in this video by the way because i actually didn't make any mistakes surprisingly so yeah no bloopers at the end of this one bye